be Defcon One. Gotta be Defcon One, I think. Yeah, most definitely to uh, finally play our first Q event and be one of only a handful of uh, DJs in the UK that played there this year it was a great privilege for us and absolutely awesome experience. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Funniest thing, probably the gig in London, I'd say. Uh, it's a new event, it was called Dutch Style. Uh, Headhunters, uh, Dutch Master. Um, there was a few issues when we arrived. The club owner wanted to shut the club early. I think Heady was on just before we went on. Um, so you can tell us what happened next. Yeah, we played for about 15 minutes and the bouncers came over and told us uh, that was it, game over. <laughs> and we fair dues to the crowd on the dance floor. They decided to do a sit in protest and they all sat down on the dance floor. and. Sitting. Never had a sitting in a club before. Refused to leave until the O'Freedies got to play. It was a bit <laughs> strange, but uh, very funny. Yeah, it's quality, definitely one to remember. <laughs> definitely our set from Defcon 1, without a doubt. Yeah, we pretty much played the whole set of our own tracks. I mean, the start performance, the arena was pretty much empty. And at the end, it was bursting at the side, so it's got to be our best day so far. Yeah, definitely best gig ever. This is always a tough question because I think there's been so many great artists this year and great tracks, it's hard to choose. But I think if I had to choose one, it'd probably be D Block and Estefan. I think they've just been absolutely awesome for solid for a year now, track after track. It's just been fantastic and I think it's uh, consummated in them doing exclusive in January so yeah. definitely get my vote. I'd probably agree with you but I'm going to say tone shifters as well just because they're like new kids on the block from Australia. Um, they're sort of our sort of style of, of tracks, we play a lot of their tunes, they're great guys as well and uh, I think they're ones to watch out for in the scene next definitely. definitely yeah. I think it has to be a new artist and a good friend of ours from the UK, uh, DJ Big Lean. I think just recently signed to Plutonium Records. Yeah, definitely his productions have just got better and better. Um, he's definitely our tip for the hard style scene next year with some good tracks. Yeah, and he's still very young. And yeah, very young still. <laughs> so yeah, he's got plenty of time to get there, so he's definitely our tip, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this is always a mega hard question. Um, God, I don't know, there's been so many. Um, well, I, th I think what I have to say, one of our tracks, Rock and Roller. Um, people still always ask us for it everywhere we go. Every time we drop it, everyone goes nuts. <laughs> so yeah, Rock and Roller for me. Yeah, I'm, I definitely agree with you on that one. But if we were picking a tune from another artist, Probably Scope DJ, Househeads, um, it's just like a perfect, you know, start a track in any set, get to the party going. We played it for nearly a year, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's been in lots of our sets, so it's probably one of our favourites. So, yeah, right. Scope DJ, Househeads. Yeah. Got to be scan tracks for me, just non stop, year after year. Great artist on there, great releases, our sort of style of tracks on there. Yeah. Um, sort of probably probably the biggest label in the house that I've seen. Yeah, for me, I think this year I'll have to go for Fusion. Once again, another one of the big labels, but once again, all year quality releases. And I say Toad have just come through a lot this year, so we've supported a lot of their tracks and obviously all the noise controller stuff and some of the picture stuff we really like. Uh, so yeah, I think Fusion gets my vote this year. Yeah, it's a close one. Yeah, man. Best event. Got to be Defcon 1 again. <laughs> yeah. Got to be Defcon 1. Um, I know we played, but it's just a great event. and It's 
got to be the best event, I think. Yeah, definitely. If you've not, never been, try your hardest to get there. It's just an amazing event on the beach in the sun. 35 or 40,000 people, whatever it is. And the production is just amazing. It's just definitely an event you'll never forget if you go there. I think it's actually moving venues as well, so it might even be bigger and better next time. So yeah. keep an eye out for that one. Yeah. Uh, we've got big plans for next year, uh, starting off at the beginning of the year we'll be doing a lot of collaborations with different artists from the UK such as uh, Marky G, Culling Juice, Andy Whitby, Brian and McBurn and a few others that we can't really mention to you at the minute but I'm sure you'll find out later on in the year who they are. Definitely yeah, um, we're also going to be trying to sort of get like a monthly podcast going just keeping you up to date with what we're doing, studio tips, gigs, uh, track review, stuff we're working on. Um, we're also going to be working hard next year on doing a few live sets, some exclusive Yo 3 ds producer sets, so there's a lot to look forward to. Yeah man, it's going to be a good That's well going in on the outtakes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Dude, that is rough. Um. May have to give it a five minutes then. <laughs> Fuck, no. That's bad. That's bad. Right, for next year, uh, beginning of the year, we'll be doing a lot of collaboration. Blue Bear. Boom! There's an ad lib for you. <laughs> Start again. <laughs>